In this video, we're going to see how to resolve the following issues that you might find when you import a project. Error, incur error occurred during the build. Errors running builder, Android resource pro manager on project. Errors running builder, Android precompiler. And then once the project is imported, the declared package does not match the expected package. So to begin with, I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to clone this project. I choose File, Import, Projects from Git, Clone URI, Next, that's slightly off screen. Uh, the URI I copied is automatically in my clipboard and so that goes right into the screen here. I put in my username and of course my super secret, super secure password and I choose next. Uh, I choose next and I've already cloned this one so I'm just going to save it into a different directory and then I'm going to choose next once again. It's going to import the project and we'll see that when it imports it's going to give me an error. Uh, next and finally finish. Sorry that's just a little bit off screen so I'll grab it here and finish. Uh, we'll see it appear down below and as soon as it imports, it gives me an error, and it says, sure enough, errors occurred during the build, errors running Project Builder Android Resource Manager on project, errors running Builder Android Precompiler, path, path must include resource name. Uh, and all of the things I'm leaving out there are the project name specifically that I'm importing. For you, it will be whatever your project is. I choose OK, I expand, and what I see is, first of all, I don't see a layout that I would expect for an Android program. I see everything's kind of flat, where a proper Android program should have things like Android 442, Android private libraries, should have a source folder that I can drill down into, just like this one up here. Uh, but the one that I've just imported, uh, something doesn't look right. Uh, everything is kind of flat, and I don't see the organization that I'm used to. Well, the problem here is the class path. Uh, the class path was not checked into GitHub, and when we imported the project, Eclipse made its own class path. So we need to fix that class path. What I'm going to do to fix the class path is right-click on the project, choose Properties. I'm going to take the location, copy it. Uh, then I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer with Windows key E. I'm going to paste that project location and choose enter. I right click on the class path and I choose edit with notepad plus plus. I like notepad plus plus because it gives me an opportunity to diff one file against another very easily by using the plugins compare tool. So I have here a class path that is not correct uh, for an Android project. What I need is a class path that is correct. And that's very easy to do. I can choose either File, uh, New, and then Project, and then choose Android Project, uh, and start one from scratch. On the other hand, if I do have an Android project that is working properly, I can just borrow that. So I'm going to take this one called Polio. I'm going to right-click Choose Properties on this. Uh, I'm going to highlight Control-C. I'm going to tab back to Windows Explorer. And I am going to once again paste. I'm going to right click on this class path and I'm going to say edit with notepad plus plus. Now if you take a look, this is the correct class path for an Android program. Uh, this is the one that Eclipse made and you see that there is a bit of a difference between the two. So this on the left is the one I need to fix. This on the right is the one that is correct. Uh, and so what I can do is choose Plugins, Compare, and Compare. In Notepad++, that's going to compare the last two open tabs. We see Correct on the right and Incorrect on the left. And what's the difference that we notice? We see that we have this Class Path Entry, Kind equals Source, Path equals Gen. Class Path Entry, Kind equals Output, Path equals Bin Classes. Uh, it appears that it's these it's it's these last three entries that are incorrect. So what I'm going to do is highlight copy, control C. I'm going to go to the left side. I'm going to highlight that file, uh, delete and paste, and save. 
And with that now, I'm going to go back to Eclipse. I am uh, going to choose OK through that. Um, I'm going to close and then reopen the project that's giving me trouble. So we close. And then after that, I'm going to say Open Project. And we'll give it a moment, but as soon as it opens up and it realizes that it has been fixed, we'll see a different structure to the project. If that doesn't refresh it, what I'll do is I'll right-click and say Delete. I will not tick this box. I'm just going to remove the project, uh, and then I'm going to choose File Import, and I'm going to import the project one more time, but this time from my local Git repository, not from the uh, remote one, but from my existing local repository. I'm going to choose my app right here, uh, What's Up UC, and import existing projects. So we've deleted the project, not, not the source of the project. We've just removed the project from Eclipse. Now I'm importing it again. Uh, sometimes I need to do this. Sometimes a simple close and reopen will work. Uh, but if that doesn't work, then I'll just go ahead and delete the project and, and reopen it. And what you see now is that it does have the correct structure. It does have the structure that we're expecting. It looks like a good, healthy Android project, just like this one. Because what we have done is we have fixed the class path. Uh, if you want, you can always Control shift r and look for dot class path and confirm that you do see that missing source entry that we had before. Uh, class path entry kind equals source path, path equals source. That's for the uh, source Java files that we make. And then class path entry kind equals source path equals gen. That's the important one for Android because that's what determines our r.java. So that's what a good, uh, and this is Android roughly 4.4. Uh, that's what a good Android 4.4 class path should look like. The advantage here is that uh, notice that all of these paths are relative. So in my case, it's easy to take one, take a class path from a project that I know works and put it into a project that uh, I know is having class path difficulty. Now, one strong recommendation is that you should always back up your class path uh, before doing this operation in case you have set something else in your class path I don't want you to irreversibly delete it. So in other words when you do the trick where you right click and you say properties and you copy this into Windows Explorer and you find your class path file uh, just do me a favor so there we go and we get our class path file. Just do me a favor, copy this class path somewhere maybe make a clone of the file somewhere or at the very least Highlight, Control C, Control N, Control V, uh, so that you have a copy of it somewhere. I don't want to lead you down a path where you make a change that you can't reverse. So hopefully this helps you with this error. Uh, if so, or if not, you know, please uh, like, comment, let me know how it goes. Uh, let me know what other errors you're having, and um, uh, perhaps we can make some more videos that will diagnose those. Thank you.